heard you got the gallery. It's really great, Mona. Is that the last of it? Yeah. So is this just gonna be it? Shit. I'll give you a call, okay? This is one of the stories I wouldn't tell you when I was your girlfriend. When you would make guesses about the year I spent in Belvedere, they were so lurid and specific. Was I a kept woman? Was Belvedere like Nevada, where prostitution is legal? Was I naked the entire year? The reality began to seem barren. Hello? Mom, you just called last week. I'm not coming home anytime soon. Well, I made a commitment to my job here. This is a really exciting opportunity. I can't just drop everything I'm doing. There's a lot of people relying on me here. And I'm making such a good living. Mom, I'm actually really busy right now. I've got a lot of work in front of me. I have to go. Yeah, yeah, you too. Well, he'd like this before. This ain't nothing. The Big Apple. Now that's heat for you. Elizabeth, you ain't never been to the Big Apple in all your life. This ain't even 100 degrees. It's well on 110, I swear it is. No, Jack Jack. It was hotter in this summer of 82. That was 83, and it never did even reach 100 that year. Well, I sure hope it don't get no hotter. My cousin caught fire once in heat like this. Yep. Just went up in flames right where he was standing. Sometimes I swear I'm the only sane person in Belvedere. Oh, Maria's here. Um, well, actually, my name isn't Maria. It's Be careful it's... in this heat, Maria. It's not safe, you know. Doesn't matter, I say. There ain't no respectable body of water anywhere near Belvedere. There's the creek. A ferret couldn't swim in that creek. And it ain't here but a couple of months in the spring. Sure would be nice to cool down, though. We're lucky there ain't no water. We ain't never swum a day in our lives. We'd be liable to drown ourselves. Oh, I've swum. 
It's easy. You just have to learn to breathe underwater. Actually, that's not true. You just have to hold your breath. Actually, I was just kidding. I'd be scared to hold my breath. I had an uncle who died in a hold your breath contest, you know. Gilda, your uncle died of a stroke. I don't know where you get these stories from. So you swum? In high school, we competed at state level. Once. Sure is a shame we don't have a pool in Belvedere because we're obviously very lucky to have a swim coach living right here in town. I can teach you to swim and we don't need a pool. I had them sent up from Jackson County. They're perfect. Welcome to your first swim lesson. Here, take this, will you, Maria? It's like a ton of bricks. It's a tuna noodle casserole. Put some curve on your figure. How are we going to fit in there? Don't worry, this is how Olympic swimmers train when there isn't a pool nearby. Ah. Hmm. So on three, take a deep breath, go under, and come up quick. Ready? One, two, three. Good, good. Um, again? All right, guys, keep it up. It's okay, it's okay. It's totally normal. It's okay to resist the bowl. It's your body telling you it doesn't want to die. It doesn't. It's okay, we'll start you off with the kickboard. Okay, in unison, all together. One, two, three. Again? Kelda, try staying down a little longer. One, two, three. Elizabeth, you're blowing out too much air. One, two, three. Jack Jack, a little early. One, two, three. Jack Jack, you're still early. One, two, three. We had it sent up from Jackson County. It's perfect. Well, you needed a whistle, coach. All right, team, into the water. 
Now that you're all comfortable in the water, we're gonna learn some strokes. Doggy paddle. Breaststroke. Backstroke. Butterfly. And freestyle. that arm, Elizabeth. Swim to me. I've been practicing my front crawl. And Elizabeth, how's that butterfly coming? I almost got it down. Good. I held my breath for a whole 33 seconds today. It's true, I timed her. <laughs> You've learned a lot these past months. You've come a long way, team. There's really only one thing I have left to teach you. The dive. You're the best students a coach could ask for. I know you can do this. Are you sure? This is one of the stories I wouldn't tell you. You seem incredibly far away to me now, like someone on the other side of a lake. Who I miss now, tonight, is Elizabeth, Kelda, and Jack-Jack. I'm 
must be the saddest swim coach in all of history.